Yo, how is it going guys? Welcome back to another X-West video. Today is not actually hoplite trapping, but I am going to showcase how to create some of these traps and some creative ideas that you could use in future traps for solo and for teams. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It took a lot of effort to set up and yeah, I really do appreciate it. I also have a discord. It's down in the description. I host events and play with everyone. So uh, yeah, let's get right into the trap. So basically this one is actually very easy to do so i'm just going to take my wand just so i can quickly show you and basically all you're going to do is for this first one you just grab a crafting table basically you're going to pretend that you're crafting like this and the enemy behind you will come jumping in for you and all you do is take out like that probably one thing to make sure you have is leather boots for this one and i do recommend getting white dye because you could just put it in your crafting table leather boots white dye and it looks like almost looks like iron armor you can't really tell the difference as much i mean obviously there's still a difference but not as much and you could stand on it but basically you're just going to craft like this and the enemy will come behind you think nothing of it come to create you out and they fall into the trap so this is another version of this basically you're going to have your leather boots on and all you're going to be doing is just running away from the enemy so they're going to see you obviously jump up here so they're going to follow you and what they don't expect is when they jump they go right into the death trap one thing to be cautious about is even if you have your leather boots on and you miss this jump like say you run into it and then jump you're gonna get stuck most likely sometimes you don't sometimes you get lucky if it's right on the edge and then the same thing here if you're standing on this and you're looking at someone and like crouching you're gonna go under too but this is honestly one of my favorite traps i haven't seen it done on youtube yet um I posted a video on it so you could definitely go watch it. it's called powder snow trapping uh, the link will be in the description with all my other trap videos so far but yeah all right so one of the easiest ones without redstone is a simple head hitter jump so basically you dig out this cave and everything this is just a flat surface like this you have them follow you in here and basically this first one is a head hitter that you just jump and you're you're past it you know you jump you're past it most people don't see it so see how it's like this they're just gonna run like this and they will fall to their death if you want a second backup one do this one right here is the exact same thing except this diagonal so if they thought if they saw this one they might not see the second one and you do the exact same thing jump because if they don't see the second one boom they're dead this is honestly one of the easiest traps you can do okay so one of the versions also from this head hitter one is on uh just literal ground like this but basically what you want to do is make sure that you can jump up to like uh to something like this and all you're gonna do is you're gonna jump 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 place a block and what happens is they're following you they go to swing at you and they fall into the void this is done and not a lot of people actually suspect it which is kind of weird because i feel like this is more obvious but people still don't su suspect it and it works a lot of the time it's definitely a good one for solos if you're gonna look for solo trapping i personally don't use it just because mostly i'm with somebody when i'm trapping and also just in case i like i'm not really a good pvp -er for especially for 1.20 pvp but see and if i end up missing i have to fight this and most likely i'm gonna die so i'd rather something that guarantees them like this head hitter that it and even if they don't get hit i can still hit them into it you know i can't hit them really that good into this trap because it's a one by one this is more of a tunnel situation you know so i definitely recommend this for solo players who are actually good pvp because this can definitely be a good trap. so basically this redstone one is the first one of redstone tutorials and this is honestly one of the easiest ones that i could even set up so basically how this works is it's on like a staircase so one of the like a temple or whatever on hoplite and basically it's going to be a staircase trap where the staircase will be pulled on you so one person will hide underneath obviously you could do this with one player it's definitely more helpful with two players so one can stay here and you say go you push it and they fall to the death like this first how this works is basically you put sticky pistons third block of where the stairs go you put the stairs in the opening area so it's going to be open for a little bit you come behind here you put the repeaters here you put redstone here you put one more redstone lever then it works it, it pushes out and everything basically it's always going to be active until the trap actually goes off once you pull it that's when they pull it back but if you're in solo and you want to do the solo 
all you do is just add the redstone coming up a staircase to the lever and now what happens basically is you run up follow enemy follow you press it and they go falling because they're following you so you this definitely done you could definitely do this single player but it does work better when you have a teammate who's in sync with you so we like to use this trap as a backup trap so if say this trap whatever this trap is whether it's this next one that i'm about to go into or this current or something like the staircase or whatever and the player does not fall for it basically what you should do is have a pressure plate in your inventory basically you're going to jump down like you got them basically and put this here put blocks here so what happens is they're stuck they're going to come down the ladder like this and they'll step on the pressure plates it'll break and they'll fall to their death and then obviously you're going to have ladders going down to that one too all you're going to do is hook up redstone on each side of the pressure plate on the bottom layer then put a block and torch on each side put a redstone repeater going this way going forward that way uh, a piece of redstone here another one going forward towards the pistons two pistons and then same thing on the other side and basically what that does is it's activating everything beside these two redstones but as soon as i touch this this one activates as soon as the pressure plate this one deactivates and this one activates it's really neat it definitely helps a lot if you're having one set of ladders don't put that one ladder drop like this where you're able to drop down and everything because if you have this and they touch it they can come back up on the ladder this is how it's basically going to look like this right so what i recommend doing is getting a sign getting water and placing a sign here placing water like this make sure it's definitely at least like three blocks high for the sign because if it is like to here they could just jump down and then jump back up and they will live and what you must do is after you come down you place this place blocks here because if you don't place blocks they have time they have time to jump down and get into the base so this redstone trap is more complicated than the other ones and basically dark helped me design this one because he's the one that actually created it i still have no clue how to actually build it but basically essentially how this works is you're going to lead someone by coming up these stairs just like this and they're following you so you say pull right when the enemy gets to about here when they're ready to jump and everything and that's when your teammate will be under here pulls the lever and they go flying down this one definitely has been all over youtube and everything so uh it's definitely not original or anything but it definitely does the trick because there's really no way to tell that there's a trap here because you really you don't need to like set up anything for like a head hitter or anything like that all right so i removed the drop but basically how this works is the piston these are two sticky pistons with rip uh with redstone repeaters and redstone connected all the way down to the lever the way this works though is this is not actually connected to anything beside this redstone torch so this always has to be on this side is always off right and that's how you get this but as soon as it reverses that's when it pulls so this redstone torches will come off this will pull down and then both sticky pistons will pull both blocks in as this one is gonna push up because this redstone torch disabled so all you really need is a lever a bunch of redstone and sticky pistons uh the trapper kit you need to have both players go trapper kit because it does require a lot of repeaters a lot of redstone and a lot of sticky pistons so but that's that trap so i know a lot of people are wondering how to exactly set up the trap so i'm gonna just explain that, that quickly so basically pretend this is the trap i know this is like very obvious and everything but just go with it all right so basically what i like to do is i like to set up the ladders first because then i have easy up and down access so basically the first thing i'd like to do is mine down all the way to about 30 blocks down which i will say is about here then i'm gonna expand this way a little bit because this is where the trap is it's down this way uh i like to expand a little bit out more just so i have the room but basically you're gonna set up two ladders if you're gonna do the ladder way first you're gonna build all the way up like this so you build up all the way like that second thing you're gonna do is either you're gonna have a ladder that you can jump down to very easily like this or if you're doing that backup trap with the pressure plates you're going to want to put the sign one 
like that. So when you drop down, you just drop down like that. Now I would climb all the way back up. I would make a lot of signs because you're not going to want to have to come back up for wood and make sure you have enough wood for this. But basically I'll go down to the exact same level and as I'm doing it, I like to place the signs. I put them all the way down like this. For this tutorial, I obviously didn't place all the signs down. So now what I would like to do is I normally go up about three blocks on every single side. So from here, I place wood stairs just like this. That way they cannot water clutch. Because what tends to happen is if they place water, it goes inside of the stair, which is perfect, exactly how we need it. I continue to place the signs just like this. A lot of people use armor sands. I don't, I definitely see why it's important. I don't use them personally, but there, you definitely could use them if you want to uh, just add extra to it. But what I like to do here is also break these, put more stairs, because if they try to clutch with this water, it also does not work. And then the dripstone will go here. I like to have six just to be safe. And what we do then is we place iron bars on all corners like this. I like to dig out. Obviously this would be all not mined out, but I like to dig out around it just so I have extra room. And what I tend to do then is I put slabs on all these blocks like this so they cannot get out. When they get stuck like this, all they can see it if they happen to live is this, right? So not only do they have to break wood over here, right? And a lot of them don't actually bring axes, but say they did, they have to break the wood and then also break the cobblestone fence to just get out as well as the dripstone. So it's definitely harder to get out of when you have a wood and cobblestone there. Once you're down here, you should definitely place some chests around the place like so. So that way you can just collect the loot and, and shove it in a chest. This whole area is stone, right? So you're definitely gonna make sure you have stone pressure plates when you place them because it's not as noticeable when you place them if you place wooden pressure plates, right? So you do this and then you're gonna want like, say over here or something, dig out, and then you have another tunnel going all the way down to uh, to this, to this uh, one. And you do the exact same design. Basically from here, you dig straight down, all the way down, set up the dripstone, set up everything just like inside. Obviously you don't probably need a lot of chests because it's a backup trap. It's not like it's the main trap or anything. But yeah, that's basically how I run my traps. When they drop, they can't see anything. You could see their feet. It's definitely harder to hit sometimes. Sometimes you have to go in this corner and crouch so you can actually see up high, especially if they're breaking your signs and everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate all the support and my next upload is going to be a brand new trap. I have not showcased it off in this video and as well as I don't think it's been on YouTube yet. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for Monday's upload. Other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys. Idle thoughts of growing up in